What's up guys? I remember a while back I showed you how to split firewood with the tire. Well, that trick is amazing. It helps you so much faster to split firewood. But the problem is I showed you that I lay a couple of logs right here and sometimes they spin away and fall out and you have to fix your tire. So instead of having these logs holding this tire all the way around, we're actually going to get six by six and build the platform all around it. And we're going to screw it together or nail it together. So that way it's all one piece. And this tire is not moving at all. Again, I'm just gonna measure it out just about. Just about right there. Boom. We got a small piece like that, perfect. And I'm just gonna cut up a whole bunch of pieces like that. we have here four pieces then we're going to put them like this together let's see if it fits boom looking good that's what we want then I'll use a couple of little nails there you go one two hopefully it works I have a couple of those giant nails, might as well put them to use. So we we'll build the box just like that. Now next step is easy. All we have to do is just put the tire like this and screw the tire into the wood. We're gonna get a couple nails, a lot of nails, actually about eight nails, so that way it does not come off, and screw it into the wood. Just like this. I wish I had a little bit of attachment to do so, because the deal kind of not long enough. If I had a bigger tire, I probably would do this with a much bigger tire. So I had a bigger opening here, would have been a lot easier. Now let's start to split some firewood. Now you can stick a couple of these ones. And every time you split them, you don't have to worry about picking them up. Looks like we can put one more in there. This one has full of nuts. But let's see. Boom. And then we can just swing it and break it. Boom. And don't even have to worry about ruining your axe because if you miss, you can hit the tire. And if you go all the way through, you're not going to hit the rock on the bottom of it. And then you can just go like this. And you see just standing. You don't have to lift anything up, just smash it, take it out, perfect. There you go, and then you got yourself a split firewood. You can throw it in a wagon, into a barrel, anywhere. But look, it's fully split. It. This one I should have put it like that, so that way it's easier to split. Even one at a time. It's just fully knotted, so it's harder to split.
one more time one if it's a bigger pieces you just put two if you have a bigger tire even easier and then once again look at that how many times i can hit it without lifting them up again and i just walk around it no problem one more hit ah, not hard enough ah, it has a nut but there you go you got small pieces right here that is perfect for firewood this is fine so i use this for firewood because i don't want to clean my chimney all the time But then if you have bigger pieces like this, no problem either. Just put one piece at a time and split it. That's a big piece, so it probably will take me a few hits. But you see, every time I hit it, it falls down, I'll have to lift it up. Maybe one more hit right here. And this is perfect for firewood in the house not for the bonfire because this is a really nice wood out right here and as you can see now i don't have to worry about the tire falling off anywhere because it stays all steady check this out i can lift it up awesome got your block locus see how it does You see black locus. I usually split it with a log splitter, hydraulic log splitter, because it's so dense. But even then, look at that. No problem. I like smaller pieces, they burn better. So look at that. I can split this big log into eight or ten pieces or even more if you desire this is a good splitting mall and as you can see when i miss it it just stops it so it's a lot safer too and once again look at that we have nice pieces split it all the way black locus grains are all twisted up as you can see so it's a lot harder to split it look at that but this is why it's so hard to split it you see it but perfect easy definitely worth spending 20 minutes and modifying your tire i just wish i had a little better tire also in my design as you can see i keep it as low to the ground as possible because if you make it a lot higher you're pretty much taken away from your swing i want to swing it as much as possible especially for those bigger black locus logs so if it's lower to the ground that means i have another maybe 20 inches of a swing to hit it and actually break through that log that's why my design is a lot lower and that's what i like to split my firewood almost on the ground so that way obviously i have a much longer reach and bigger and more powerful swing with the same energy I just finish this off and I love that smaller pieces, you can put two or three in there, easily, like this, nice. And once again, we just split it all up, ooh, not hard enough, wow, this one is all twisted up or something, there you go, nice. Yeah, I just have a big knot right here, that's why it was stuck. But this is perfect. We 
give you one more time this one. Do you see it? I went through and then I hit the tire and my axe bounced up. So I don't even have to spend energy stopping it. This tire works as a perfect boom, perfect break. Look at that. And a good workout. Well guys, I actually had my doubts, but honestly it was worth it. I spent 30 minutes building it and now it's a lot easier to split firewood. But anyways, let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you next time.